Hello children. Today in this video, I am going to teach you one of the half yearly portions, geometry. In your previous classes, you learned addition, subtraction, shapes and patterns. Later, repeated addition of the same number was extended as multiplication. Similarly, repeated subtraction by the same number was extended as division. Like how addition was extended as multiplication and subtraction was extended as division, the chapter shapes and patterns is extending as geometry. Yes, geometry is based on shapes and patterns. Previously, you learned shapes, plane shapes, solid shapes, sliding object, rolling object and so on. Now, let us learn more about basic geometrical concepts. In this chapter, we are going to cover these topics. Open and closed curves, basic geometrical concepts, angles, measuring and constructing, polygons and circle, symmetry and reflections, area and perimeter. First, let us start with the topic basic geometrical concepts in which we are going to learn plane, point, line segment, ray, line and intersecting lines. In class 3 EVS2, you would have learned different types of landforms where you learned plane, mountains, valleys, etc. What is the meaning of the plane? Plane means a flat land. Likewise, in max, plane means a flat surface which extends endlessly in all directions. It doesn't have a boundary. Children, does this mouse has a flat surface? No, it is curved. So, this is not a plane. Whereas, this notebook has a flat surface. So, this is a plane. Next, moving on to point, a point is a dot on a plane. It is used to represent positions. I have roughly drawn an India map to show you how we represent places using point. See, this point represents Delhi. This point represents Chennai. Likewise, in Max, we represent a point using capital letters. Point A or point X or point P. We can give any name using capital letters. Okay, how to denote these points? We denote it as point A or put a dot and A. Both means point A, dot A means point A. Moving on to line segment. Line segment is a straight path joining two points. Now, I am going to mark two points and name it as PQ. Now, is this a line segment? No. Now, the straight line joining the two points is called the line segment. The length of the line segment is definite, which means we can measure the distance from P to Q. Now, how to denote the line segment. We can denote it as P Q bar or Q P bar. We can represent it either way because if we take P as a starting point, Q will be the ending point. If I take Q as a starting point, P will be the ending point. So, we can represent it in both ways. These lines on the top represents line segment. Now moving on to ray. You would have come across the word sun rays which means from the sun the rays passes everywhere endlessly in all directions which means it has a starting point which is the sun and it extends endlessly. So a ray has a starting point but no ending point. I am going to give a name to this like P, Q. 
we cannot measure the length of a ray because it extends endlessly in one direction. How to denote a ray? We denote a ray using a arrow. So, I represent it as PQ with a arrow on top. I cannot represent it as QP because Q is not the starting point. Only the P is the starting point and so this is wrong. So, we represent only as PQ with a arrow on top. Now, let us learn about line for which I am going to draw a line segment. I am going to name this as XY. Can I extend this line segment? Yes, I can extend this. So, the first I will mark the points. Now, I am going to extend this line segment. I can extend on both the sides. So, a line segment ext extended endlessly on both the sides is called a line. A line has no end points. We cannot measure the length because it is extending like this and like this. So, we cannot measure the line. How to denote a line? We denote a line using two arrows x, y and on top we have to draw two arrows. Two arrows means it is a line. For example, P, Q. I have to represent the line as P, Q with two arrows on top. Now I am going to teach you intersecting lines. For which I am going to draw two lines. A, B, M, N. Do these lines meet anywhere? Yes. The lines meet at this point. So, when lines meet at a point, they are called intersecting lines. What are the intersecting lines? MN, R with two arrows and AB with two arrows. So, these lines are called intersecting lines because they meet at a point. And this point is called the point of intersection. I am going to name this as O. So, the point of intersection is called Point of intersection is point O. Now, let us learn about open and closed curves. In which we are going to learn open curves, closed curves and simple closed curves. Let us start with open curves. As the name says open curve, it has a starting point but no ending point and it is open. For example, it is open. It has a different starting point and a different ending point. And there is some gap in between. So, it is called a open curve. Moving to closed curve, as the name says, the figure is closed. When the starting point and the ending point are the same, it is called a closed curve circle the letter A number 8 the alphabet D these are closed moving on to simple closed curve here it is also a closed curve see for example triangle this is a closed curve what is the difference between closed curve and simple closed curve in simple closed curve they do not intersect at any point. In this case, here it intersects at a point, but it is closed. So, it is a closed curve. In this case, I cannot write the number 8 here because it intersects at a, at a point. So, like this, any figure which doesn't intersect at a point are called simple closed curves. I will give some more examples for simple closed curves. 
the alphabet D is a simple closed curve. Heart is a simple closed curve. It is a simple closed curve because they are not intersecting at any point. Now let us learn about polygons. What are polygons? Simple closed figure made of line segment are called polygons. Can we draw a polygon with two line segment? No, it is not possible. We need at least three line segments to form a polygon. Now only it is closed, right? When it is two side, it is open. So we need at least three sides to form a polygon. There are different types of polygons. When a polygon is made of three sides, it is called a triangle. For example, when a polygon is made of four sides, it is called a quadrilateral. In which it has square, rectangle, both are four sided polygon and both are called quadrilaterals. Next five sides. When a polygon is made of five sides it is called pentagon. Three, four, five. How to remember this word pentagon? As the name says pen, how will you draw a pen? You will draw like this, right? How many sides are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 sides. So, pen. Pen has 5 sides. So, a 5 sided polygon is called a pentagon. Next, 6 sides. When a polygon is made of 6 sides, it is called a hexagon. How to remember the word hexagon? X. In letter, in the number 6, X comes, right? Likewise, in hexagon, the letter X comes. So, that is how you will remember the word hexagon. There are many polygons like septagon, octagon, nanagon, decagon, which you will learn in the upcoming classes. Now, we are going to learn the problem set 1 in which apply part I have drawn a figure, a line with many points on it. In which the question is, name the points marked between M and R. So, the point is M and R. In between points you have to mark. Between means what? The in between points are called between points, which is point N, point O, point T, point P and point Q. Next question is, name the points marked between N and Q. Point N is here and Q is here. What are the points marked between N and Q? It is O, T, P. Point O, point T and point P. Now, problem set 2 in page number 64. The question is, name the line segments in the following figures. Children, what is a line segment? A line segment has a starting point and a ending point. So, what are the line segments in this DE? And how to represent a line segment? Using a line on top. DE, DF has starting point, ending point. DF, DG, D, H. Next, if E as the starting point, E, D. E, D is same as D, E, right? So, I need not write again. So, I will write E, F, E, G, E, H. Next, keeping F as the starting point, F, D. F, D is same as F. DF right so it is already written and 
F E is same as E F, which is also already written. So F G and F H, F G and F H. Next G as a starting point. G D. This is G D, G E, G F. All written. So only G H. If I keep H as a starting point, H D. This is same as H D. H E, H F, and H G. All are same. So these are the line segments given in the figure. Problem set three in page number sixty-five. Name the line segments in the figure. Here, the figure is a closed figure, in from which we are going to find the line segments. A B. We will have a starting point so that we can end up there. A B. Next B K. K C. C D. D E. E F F G G H and H K. These are the line segments in the given figure. Now let us play a game based on basic geometrical concepts. First, I will teach you the actions. If I do like this, it means a plane. If I do like this, it means a point. If I do like this, it means a line segment, which means it has a starting point and a ending point. If I do like this, it means a ray, a starting point but no ending point. If I do like this, it means a line, no starting point, no ending point. If I do like this, it means intersecting lines. Let us start the game. It's a plane. These are intersecting lines. It is a line. It is a ray. It is a point. It is a plane. It is a line segment. Isn't it interesting, children? Yes. With this, we have completed open and closed curves and basic geometrical concepts. Children, do complete the Star Max textbook Part C from page number fifty-eight to page number sixty-six. Children. Stay home, stay safe and keep learning. Thank you.